Welcome to Atticum Plays Port Royale 4. All right, hi, this is Atticum, and welcome to Series 5, Episode 1 of Port Royale 4 um, Closed Beta. We're going to uh, go back and play the free mode again. And I got feedback from folks uh, about what they'd like to see coming up, so I've tried to kind of add all that together put my own spin on it and something I would like to do. And we're gonna go into free mode. And of course, we're going to Spain, it's our only choice. But we're gonna play as the Pirates because she's the one character that we haven't played. And, uh-oh, uh is that an English name? Ah, uh, we're getting English names. I'm gonna to have to go back again, start over. Uh, free mode. There, those look like Spanish names to me. There we go, that's better. Concepcion Casp, no, that sounds too male to me. She's definitely not male. But Romana Sanz, okay, that'll do. All right, so what does she bring to the table? Will not be attacked by pirates. Eh, hooray. Uh, that, that'll, be, that'll be nice. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll, we, we won't have to worry about being uh, looted by the pirates, but, but I don't think that's the world's biggest deal. Only 50% loss of fame for piracy. So clearly with, with this character, uh, they sort of intend for us to go out and loot the world. And all buildings are more expensive. So she's not really a builder or a city builder. She is a fighter, you know, take booty kind of, kind of person. Um, yeah, all right, so that, there we are. So we're gonna be the Pirates. Now, what I want to do is set this up as tough as I can make it, with one exception, which I'll explain. All right, so we're going to make our, again, very small. I don't think there's a tougher situation than having your nation be the smallest one on the map. Now, the hometown, I consider the hometown to be the first thing you do that's strategy. So I don't consider that a setup thing, but this this is a setup. I don't know if I really care. Uh, I, uh, it doesn't matter. Let's just go with zero. So we've got Netherlands right up against uh, our Viceroy's towns, Cartagena. We've got England right up against us uh, over here. So, um, and the, the task list, we can be military, economical, or none. We're going to have the task be, I had requests to ignore all the tasks and just play, but I won't do that because that is, um, uh, to me, that's free mode, and I, I don't do free mode games. Uh, free mode to me is boring as all get out. So um, uh, let's do mixed. We'll have some military, some economic. But I want to set the naval battles up to very hard because I looked at our, our record on hard was 112 and 0. We, we didn't lose a fight. And so I think we're ready to move up to very hard. We want many pirates, although it's kind of, no, you know what? We can't be attacked by, I just had a change of thought there. We can't be attacked by pirates, right? And us going out after pirates is going to be one of the easiest things for us to do to make money. And, and so I, let's make it few pirates because that'll actually help the other nations and it will take away what little bit of um, benefit we're getting from our character. So few pirates, the trading system, we're gonna put it on very hard, which is the hardest system. Yeah, so that's gonna give it, our, our licenses are gonna cost more, they're gonna ramp up more. Uh, we're going to uh, pay more for stuff and sell it for less. It's just, you know, the whole deal. And then now it could be, I say that, it could be the trade. That could be just about licenses and building licenses. I don't know. But but at any rate, we're gonna, it's the hardest we can make it. And then the resources, if we go regular, we'll see the same thing we've got before. We'll see uh, wood here. We'll see our guys with out any wood um, you know we know how to deal with that but um, in case you haven't figured out I'm trying to find the hardest settings I can get um, uh, let's do random because we haven't done it yet and it also by the way could be the hardest way to play because yeah let's say we do get wood let's say we get wood in three cities 
uh oh, <laughs> you know, other things are going to be missing. So uh, let's go with random for the uh, resources. Make da, 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 da. And so that leaves me with the hometown and the uh, cash and vessels. Now, <clears throat> it is possible for, I think I've said this before, we can, if we set this up on the, on the hardest, what you would think of as the hardest settings, 20,000 cash and only one vessel, we, we, there's no point in hitting start game because we're dead. We can't afford a trade license. We can't. We don't even have enough to trade away uh, to uh, get enough money to get a license. And even if you could get enough money for a license, then you wouldn't have a, a vessel to trade with. So, and plus with the slow start, we're gonna leave this one alone. We're gonna have three vessels and $300,000. So that's gonna be my one exception from hard as possible. And I could play with it some more and figure out, okay, you can just barely survive if you have three ships and twenty thousand dollars because you can sell two of the vessels and get a trade license and go from there but it, it might be so slow starting up that i don't i don't want to do that now to me after you said all that stuff your hometown is the first piece of strategy so i'm not going to just take whatever they give us what i want to do you you could first of all one strategy would be get as close to your car to hang you as possible so that you can trade with them easily and try to get uh, stuff over there to uh, build up your fame and what have you. Plus, it'll be the biggest city. They'll demand more goods. What I want to do, based on what I've seen in the game so far, that's a good-sized city. We're going to go as far away as we can get to the other kind of the other end of our border, if you will, because this is really. I mean, nobody can come down this way. So this is the border of our nation. So we've got Cartagena, a good sized city, protecting us on one side, and we'll have Puerto Cabezas, which will be our hometown, on the other side, which we can grow up as we see fit to protect us on that side. So um, that, I think, is the best way to go. Plus, it'll allow us to have a nice short haul to fight the British over here and a short haul to fight the uh, Dutch over here. So that should all work. All right, so eh, yeah, that's good. Let's go. Let's see what we get. Now, the interesting thing will be to see what uh, task we get. Oh, hey, look at this. We've already been successful, so <laughs> way to go. Good, good start. Let's see what we got here. Well, we have 25,000. Now, I guess that task, if I'd set it at 20,000, that would have been a task that mattered, but... Uh, Okay, uh, trade some commodities, Tr uh, a lot of commodities, Cartagena, of course we will. Defeat 12 convoys, I don't see that as a problem. Oh boy, look at this. So we're gonna have to have, a, to do this one, we would have to have a cathedral and send the uh, folks out on missions. We haven't even talked about that yet, but it's something you can do to recruit people into your town. Uh, we'll get to that when we get to it. Uh, that, that one totally blows in my mind. Um, nine statues and treasure maps. We would have to cycle through the treasure maps nine times to um, to fulfill that up to fulfill that objective. Own buildings, no big deal. Even with our character who's paying extra for them. And oh, there's that boarded one. Now this one, uh, <laughs> abort, abort. No, we're not. We're not playing this one. Yeah. Let's try this again. Free mode. The pirates. Very small. Puerto Cabezas. Three hundred mixed. Very hard. Few. Very hard. Random. There we go. Start. Now, I'm usually strongly opposed to re-rolling the dice till you get something you like. I'm not looking for something I like. I'm just looking for something that isn't ridiculous. All right. Now, now what a stupid objective that is. You, you automatically start the game with a building concession, and that's one of your goals is to have a building concession. So... Uh, I'm sorry. And by the way, when I say things like that, like that's stupid, or I do not mean to offend anyone, and I don't mean to disparage the game. I, obviously, I like the game, or I wouldn't be sitting here wasting my time uh, playing it. Okay, Minister Three Towns, 
four large shipyards, ouch. That means we gotta build four towns up to pretty good size. Defeat a treasure fleet, that's, okay, we can do that, but that's hard. And there's that cathedral thing again. Defeated 30 pirate convoys, and we've got set on fugue, so that one could be hard. There's those stupid, no, no, I'm not doing the statues. Sorry. That'll make us stay here forever, just trying to get the, the map stuff. And plus, I don't, I, my sense of how fast you get the map pieces, I, I think nine, I'm not even sure you could fit nine into a 12 year period. I'm not, I don't know how you would do that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. It's interesting how this stuff changes each time you go out and come back in and this stuff stays the way you had it last time. All right, let's try this again. One more time. Okay, objectives. <laughs> statues. Man, they're obsessed with the statues. And we did furniture. Ah, crap. We did furniture before. Breaches for ease. I don't know. Vessels, battles, town. Okay, all right. I, that those are all reasonable. Sixty-two vessels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hometown has a large shipyard. Yeah, of course. Three large shipyards. We have to build up three cities. Bunch of selling. Sure. Uh, producing. Sure. Oh, I don't. I'm not crazy about that one. But 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 we can quote cheat unquote if we have to on that one and split up a trade route into four trade routes or something but um yeah these are playable this is this is a playable set of objectives now do we like it would we enjoy it bill i see we got to do some town building that's all cool have a lot of vessels which we would want to have anyway win a lot of naval battles which yeah we'd want to do that especially on very hard annex four towns now that one I will see. We'll see. Keep in mind, we can't just go annex them. We can't just say, ah, I'm taking this town. Uh, Viceroy has to cooperate with us there, and I don't know if he will or not, but we'll see. And if we don't get that one, we won't get that one. Okay, th th this one is, is okay. It's it's okay. All right. Um, all right, now what are we going to do? <laughs> Let's see where the, where the stuff fell. Okay. Uh, what are we making here? Bricks, meat, and metal. Okay. Blue fields. Oh, uh, there's our wood. We got wood bricks, so, so we're already off to a better start than we have been. Redundant fruit, that's no good, but we've got cotton, sugar, okay. I think we're looking actually pretty good on the resources. There, we got grain and coal. And ve okay, good deal, good deal. Got hemp. Looks like we can make just about everything. I can't... A lot of fruit, I could live without that, but... Um, now, they're not hel helping us with Cartagena in terms of fame. Because there's no, none of the colonial products are produced here, right? So um, that that's going to make. Eh, we'll just have to ship more, which I think with this character we'll do anyway. So so we have to do three large shipyards. So we know we're, we're going to develop three cities. Now it may or may not be Cartagena as one of them. Probably not. Uh, Cabasis for sure. Two others. All right, all right, it all fits. Okay. So, oh, um, Mikowski sent me a note that was excellent. He said, and I couldn't believe it, I had to go test it. This column here that's been driving, this uh, category here that's been driving me nuts, losses, what is it? 
It is um, the money you spend on trade licenses and uh, building permits. So it's administrative costs is what it really is. Losses is, again, I, I don't want to sound so critical, but I'm sure, I, hopefully it's just a language thing. That's a terrible word to choose because that just, I, that's meaningless. Losses, losses is a generic, generic large category for, that's no good, that's no good. It should be called administrative costs or trade licenses and, and slash building permits or something that we can actually tell what it is. All right. So what we're going to do is, the reason I bring it up is we're about to go into that column big time. Notice the cost here, 35000 for our first trade license. And I think what I'm going to do is, is set us up to trade with all of Spain. <laughs> 45000 for a license. 55000 for a license. Are we going to make it to Cartagena? Yeah, we are. 60000 for a license. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Number three, we're going to disband. Although they want us to have a bunch of convoys, so maybe we should uh, keep them all separate, but I don't want to disband. Bring them together. And let's build our first trade route. All right, so this route is going to go, I mean, this, uh, and this is going to seem like we've done this before. Now, I've had discussions with uh, a couple of you about um, when a, a ship is at, like say the first ship, is he looking at the whole route to decide what to buy or is he just looking at the next town? I am relatively certain it looks at the entire route, but it, I don't know if it gives any precedence to closer towns, but I, or preference rather, but I believe it's looking at the whole route and just just by looking at the behavior of the um, of the ships when you watch you know watch them leave a port what they or yeah what they buy what they don't buy that kind of stuff so we're going to set this up as just regular old standard everything but when we get to Cartagena to give us a little more uh, fame we're going to sell large quantities of cotton and sell large quantities of tobacco and cocoa. Or coffee, that's coffee. Tobacco, coffee, and cocoa. So I'm setting the pricing at whatever, just sell it. You know, we don't care what they will pay you for it there, just sell it. All right, now that line, if we buy it at good prices, sell it at cheap prices just for those four goods, and then buy, buy and sell everything at a profit, it should be a very good line for us. So let's get our little convoy, assign it, make it the active route. I'm going to put distribute even though there's only one on it now. And that's about all we can do because we're pretty much out of money. So let's just crank this up and let it run. And let's just watch what, what our ship does for a while. And we'll look for little tasks to do. Now there's our new task from our uh, Viceroy. Tobacco, short, <laughs> short supply. France has a lot. Okay, well we're broke so we can't do anything about that. But what I do want to do is set up trade with, one of my goals here is to set up trade with all the Viceroy towns. Uh, yeah, do I? Am I? Nah, I don't care about that. Never mind. Never mind. There we go. We should have. We should have sold a lot uh, from a fame point of view just now. Yeah. There we go. There we go. All right. Good job. And when we get the end of June, we'll look at the quarter results. And I'll, well, we may have a quarter. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the see that right there. 
that's just so confusing. But that's the money we spent on trade licenses to get the to get this whole thing started, and that's money that the merchant wouldn't have spent. <laughs> Plus, the merchant could just go start trading with all these other cities and not worry about wars. They just they just go. Like every, if I'm not mistaken, the merchant has that can trade with hostile nations. So every one of your um, convoys, it's like they have a smuggler captain. Okay, yeah, we can help you. Do we have, yeah, we've got some money now. We can help you. Where, where do we want us to go? New Orleans. All right. Let's grab a... Uh, Sloops. Yeah, I guess we you know, look at the look at this. One little sloop is seventy-five thousand. Wow, we're in a new world here, folks. Good. All right, we'll buy one little sloop, and our little sloop will be our West Utility. And my pet peeve, I should already have that as my active ship, but I don't. Now I got to find it. Work my way through all this military to find it. Head for New Orleans. It is an advantage to know the map. <laughs> that really does make it easier. South of New Orleans. Okay, let's just find New Orleans first. Find these other nice little cluster of towns, and let's go down south of New Orleans. Ah, great. We're going to have to deal with the storm. Okay, i got to pause and see what we just did. All right, we've already made 480000 a quarter on our one little route. And look at our money. Our money's pretty good. And look at our fame. We have two fame already. Good grief. Um, now with this character and what we're doing, I we need some captains. So I'm going to get two captain's licenses right off the bat. And these storms are a pain to try to find somebody. Bring... I'm, I'm lost. Oh, oh, here she is. I, I guess we kind of un, uncovered her as we went by, and I just didn't even see it. All right, we will take her back to Necoclee. Take off. All right, now, this I stopped it because our convoy's just getting into Cartagena. It's a great time to look. Yeah, it's staying pretty full, so I'd like to give it another ship. Uh, I'd like to have a schooner is what I'd like to have. Any chance we could buy one from these guys? Yes. We're going to send this to... Um, Puerto Cabezas, I guess, since that's not it, the only choice we have. All right, we're going to buy a schooner. And then our um, convoy here, once it makes that drop off, I'll kind of follow it. As it gets close to Puerto Cabezas, I'm going to give it a manual order to go on into Porto Cabezas, so I got some time here, and we're going to expand the fleet, or the convoy, route enabled, off it goes, captains, alright, couple of zeros, this guy's a smuggler, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, our character, we need him. Uh, yes. What's he? Navigator, carpenter. Well, I really, we're definitely taking this this guy. He, we definitely taking a, now. 
Navigator Carpenter, Supervision Gunman. Love this one for battles. Love this one for battles. This one's just quicker repairs. That's, a, that's more, to me, that's more of a trade one, but it's good. Navigator's good in all cases, but um, especially way kind of, yeah, let's take, do we want him to? Yeah, let's just take both of these guys. And let's, uh, oh man. Okay, our smuggler now opens up all kinds of ports to us. And we will accept that and go to Puerto Cabezas, okay. Fifty-five cloth. Who makes cloth? Cloth is not in our system. Uh, you go out there and find. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, we're going to get a ship in Bluefield. It's good. And let's see what we got. Another scooter. Good. So, um, you know what we'll do? Uh, we've got two captains now. Let's make let's make our um, Kind of Netherlands East, and let's build a new trade route. Huh. And you know, I, and I'm just thinking of this as trade. I'm not thinking of this as. Ah, crap. Never mind. We'll come back to that. You, I want you to go over here. Captain. Oh, a level. Th oh, wow. This one is this one on steroids. Look at this. Blockade runner. And approach towns that are currently under blockade and can approach hostile towns. Perfecto. And the carpenter for fast repairs. And supervision for faster repairs. Or no, this is naval battle repairs. Faster repairs. What a perfect trader she would make. T-R-A-D-E-R. Uh, running around on one of the routes I just set up. So I'm going to hire her too. Oh wait, do, are we are we short on licenses? Yeah, we only got two. Uh, I was iffy on you, so bye. She's better. Hire her. So both of these. So we've got two that can run f kind of around doing doing trading. So we just expanded the places, the possibilities for us to trade. So let's take a. Um, You go up here, find us a town, Riahacha. Let's trade with Riahacha. Okay, and let's trade with Maracaibo for sure. If we can afford it, we can. 
And Gibraltar, we can. And Coro, we... Yeah, let's not stretch it. Okay. Um, edit this route. I think... We're going to run this one out of Cartagena and go Cartagena, Riohacha, Maracaibo, Gibraltar. That'll do it for now. And what we can do, maybe we can even suck off their, uh, the, um, uh, kind of siphon off the, uh, colonial commodities from the, from the Netherlands. Um, Because we can say in Cartagena, and this could be overkill, and I may back off it to make more money later, but um, Now, now I've forgotten. Didn't we get a a ship somewhere? Or, or, or I'm already playing with it, aren't I? That's what this ship is. I, you know, I honestly don't remember. Isn't that amazing? I do not remember. Whatever. We're gonna put um, assign this route, and we're gonna go get a captain, and we're gonna get her, and have her trading with the um, Netherlands, and she'll just keep right on trading, war or no war, she won't care. She'll probably get attacked once in a while, but she can do fast, re well no she can't, no she can't. When she gets, gets this one, she can do fast repairs, so she will be lovely to have. And the reason I'm doing it out of Cartagena is I'm seeing Cartagena as a place where we can get ships. And then I'm seeing probably building um, Puerto Cabezas and running a similar line this way to trade with the English. I'm just trying to expand how many trade routes we can have because these, I mean, buying, selling these goods, you don't even have to think. You just do it and, and it makes money for you. So um, you can see we're... Uh, well, um, <laughs> I think we're making money. I mean, our, our, our money's going up. I, I, I can't tell for sure, but it sure seems like it. So, why is there, why are they going there? Do I have Puerto Cabezas in their route? I do. I'm not sure why that ship is going to Puerto Cabezas. Whoa, I did see something right there I liked. Uh, you, go right there. Pick that up. Good. Now activate your route. Now something's wrong here. Oh, 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 I've got them on the wrong route, don't I? I sure do. Release, assign, activate, go. Now it's going to Carter. Okay, now it's right. Okay, so we've got our trade started with the Netherlands. We'll see how that one does. Uh, we got some more fame. Now let me let me take another look at our objectives and see what we want to do. Vessels, no, I can. Shipyard, shipyards. We got. I think my I think the plan's going to be if we look at all this the plan is going to be to um, yeah, well obviously build up Puerto Cabezas our our town and put in a shipyard 
get build rights in two other towns. So we're going to pick, uh, we're going to be selective and pick uh, two more towns to build up. Probably Cartagena uh, uh, would be a good one to build in. Well, let's just see. Uh, let's just see if we can get complimentary stuff. So like, um, because we're going to have trade going all over the place. That's my plan. The plan is to just have trade routes going all over the place because we've got these two wonderful c captains who can who can smuggle, and that's pretty awesome, actually. So, um, what can they make? They can make fruit, bricks, meat. Uh, nothing very exciting there. Um, but, you know, obviously... We're, but what I'm saying is there's nothing that we can combine. Like there's no grain where we could then do uh, beer or um, uh, something like that. Um, the ore could feed to metals, but the metals still need wood. But I think we decided we have wood on the line pretty well, don't we? So I, th I think, well, oh, I'm sorry. I take that back. I need to look at these. Uh, wood, do we have wood? I know I've started I've, uh, pl practicing playing around with this so much. I've, I've looked at it to see. Oh, man. We, did we get... <laughs> we got another woodless uh, uh, area. I, I, our vice word's got to go look at the forest before he picks these city sites. Um, all right. We don't have wood. So I don't want to do a wood... I mean, obviously, we can get wood. But I don't want to do a wood-based business that we're going to kind of grow. Uh, bricks are too cheap. They're worthless. The meat, we could probably do meat. What does a good sized city use as far as meat goes? Uh, how big is Cartagena? 4,000. And it would use four. So it could use maybe eight. Or, yeah. Boy, there's nothing great. You almost have to do a balance. They're almost forcing you to do a balanced build where you kind of build a little bit of everything. Ah, oh, man, oh, man. What to do? Sorry, I'm thinking. That's, a, uh, it's, that's, uh, it's, well, that's what I'm doing, I'm thinking. Uh, uh, before I think too much, uh, wait, 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 I got 91,000. We need more money. I, I want to expand our trading and go this way and trade with the English. Well, there's wood and valid the lead. And Taylor. All right. So to get wood, we're going to have to go this way and trade with the British, which is no problemo with our two captains. And that just says, hey, we really do want to build this up and put a warehouse in Puerto Cabezas. I, I, we don't have to. But put a warehouse in Puerto Cabezas and bring wood into our system there. And that being the case, you know, if we ran a route, I was going to run a great big route, but if we ran a route that just had like these cities in it, and we put in uh, uh, a thing that said, you know, we need to have a high demand for wood, so bring wood into our system, we could do a wood-based business here. Yes, we could, I think, I think, I think. Uh, wood. Um, I really, oh no, it's down here. I started to complain and I shouldn't. Uh, ore and coal, we have coal. Okay, we have core coal in Portobello. So we could do tools. That could be one of our businesses and just kind of focus on that or do we want to balance? Um, I'm thinking maybe we try something where we, we see how much does the town need? And if it can produce it, we, we build that much, right? We just build an industry to produce for that town, not worry about shipping it. And then we try to have a product that we specialize in, like the tools, which we can get, because we've already got the ore. So we can have a lot of, uh, of uh, metal and tools here, and then run, run ships that uh, maybe have a little line that runs over to the coal over here in Portobello. 
And, um, oh, well, wait. Uh, did you see that one? There's grain in Portobello. That would be much easier to do a beer industry in Portobello, wouldn't it? What would that cost? That's only 30000 We could do a beer industry in Portobello, do grain and beer, and ship that all over the place, and that was an easy one. That's a kind of a level two kind of a thing rather than level one. Grain would be a, the raw material. You don't want to, the raw materials you're not going to make a lot of money on, but if we're taking the raw materials and move, selling them basically to our, to our own beer and then shipping the beer out on all our trade routes, that could be good. That, that could work. So let's focus, let's do that. Let's do beer in Portobello. What can we do in Cartagena? Is there anything good in car Sugar, sugar. Rum. We could do rum. Hey, we could do beer and rum. We could just be the alcohol kings. Uh, do beer and rum. And all we need is wood in Cartagena. And we've got wood that would be coming from over here. We could even run our England line, this line over here, back to Cartagena to get the wood over here. And then we could sell the rum. Now they make rum, but I'll bet you we could swamp them. Um, yeah, that's going to be the plan. Sorry, I, I, I know this is boring, but uh, sometimes you have to think a little bit. Um, yeah, so I, I'm going to stop right there. And in our next episode, we're going to set up trade over here and then kind of get into the beer business and the rum business and build out Puerto Cabezas and Portobello and probably, um, oh, yeah, and Cartagena. So beer here and uh, rum here and we can't help but build Puerto Cabezas. So that'll be our three cities we focus on building. We're not going to try to build a total system. I'm going to try to do enough trade and have enough ships running that we can get what we have to have for needs. And I'm not, and we're not even going to worry about building cities unless we need to for our objectives. So um, we only need to really build three cities. So um, that's what we're going to do. All right, cool. I think we have a plan. And you notice how different that is from last time we played, driven by different objectives and different character, which we, we haven't even touched our character yet, right? This could have been any character. Uh, well, sort of. This could have been the adventure. Any, you know, it'd be different, of course. But ba the basic thing, we're just setting up a lot of trade routes, and we're going to keep doing that, spamming ships and, and taking advantage of those two good captains we were lucky enough to draw early. Oh, we got another one here. What's he? Uh, he's a good navigator, which is nice. I will come. I will think about that next next episode. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it'll help us all become better players. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe, and join us for our next Port Royale Four video. Thank you.